There we go. My hair is perfect for my online audience. So uh, in my last video, I introduced the Aero Garden, which I picked up, used, and had a lot of frustration trying to figure out which seedling tray to put in, which to use. But anyway, check out that last video if you haven't seen it. But today I thought it'd be good to take you along and show you kind of, you know, what I've chosen to do as my first seeds, what I'll be growing, and probably ultimately this will translate into what I'll be growing outside. But I'm going to take you along with the process and just talk to you about the recommendations of blah, 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 Aero Garden, what they say in their instruction booklet. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, point the camera in that direction and we will uh, get started. All right, so I'm using my dorky new chest harness to hopefully capture the magic of this. So I am doing uh, the 31 seed tray. I have, per the instructions, soaked the sponges. These are little Aero Garden sponges. The directions say overnight, but they also just say until they're soaked, and these are pretty soaked, so I'm going to call them good. They also suggest that for larger seeds, for like beans or squash or peas or anything like that, you want to take some scissors and actually cut a little ways down. And that's just so you can open up the top and be able to fit the seed in, like so. See, so it's kind of nestled in there and then just into the tray. So let's talk a little bit about what I'm growing. There wasn't a good way to like put tape and like mark things off like I would do in like in a normal seed tray. So I actually had to create like a little map. And uh, I'm doing mostly the, the sugar and I'll actually show you the packets too, but you can see how I've marked this off. So actually let me go through. So first of all, the, what I'm actually putting in right now along, I'm going to do about eight of them along the side here, are the Oregon Sugar Pod 2 Snow Peas. And this is, why I'm doing so many of these is this is because from, this is my daughter, for my daughter's garden, specifically the TP Trellis garden that I'm going to create for her. Again, I'll talk about that. I mentioned that in my last video. I'll talk about it in a future video of me building it. I've not built it yet, but I want to get some seeds going for it. She loves growing peas, so I'm doing a ton of these to make sure I have enough to go up the garden. I'm also going to, I don't know, these seeds are a little old, but these are lemon cukes, or cucumber lemons, as they're called right here. And this is a really fun variety of cucumber. It's round, it's bright yellow, um, it basically tastes like a cucumber, but uh, I'm hoping these will grow. I think my daughter will get a kick out of these. I don't know if she'll like eating them, but I'm sure she'll try them at least. But uh, these seeds are kind of old, so I don't know if they're going to sprout. I'm only going to do two of them because they're not the primary. My daughter's really into peas, so I'm making peas the focus. So really the theme in general of this is I'm growing a lot of beans because um, I have a lot of bush beans and whatnot that I want to try for different colors. I don't have room, so I've decided to not do the greens. So goodbye greens. But I do want to do red, purple, and yellow. So these are all going to have spaces. I'm going to do three of each right in the center here. Now, a couple spaces down at the bottom, I'm actually going to do, um, if I can find them, I'm going to do rat's tail radishes. So I don't have a lot of seeds left, and I want to create more because these are awesome. Um, it's, the, it's like a, if you haven't had these before, the rat's tail radish is grown not for its root, but for its seed pods. So it's grown kind of like a bean. The seed pods have a radish, a good radish flavor. Not an overpowering one, but still a good radish flavor, that same sort of a little bit of the heat. And I grew a bunch of these and I did, I, I liked the taste of them very much, but I used up practically all the seeds in this packet um, for my swamp garden a couple years ago. And yeah, so they didn't really survive that well. So I didn't get a lot of beans out of them that I wanted to keep and I didn't, I wasn't able to save any seeds. So I'm gonna try to grow these. Now these are a couple years old but I think, I think they'll survive. Um, I'll probably at some point be growing regular radishes, but I want to get things started. So that's that. Um, I'm going to be growing a couple good old Lincoln peas, mostly just because, so I'll have peas and also to create more seeds. Honestly, that's why I'm doing a lot of this right now, this first, because I don't know how much annual garden stuff I'm going to get to this year, as I talked about in my last video, because I have so much work to do on this, at this new house, that I may not get around to all this. So I want to focus on beans because you know I like to eat beans both like fresh green beans and also like dried beans 
and a lot of these beans I don't have a lot of seeds for. A great example is the blue, unfortunately it doesn't come with a cool package, but the Nona Agnes's Blue from Baker Creek. These are beautiful, they're dried beans, but they're a beautiful blue color. And only a few seeds came in the package and I only have like two seeds left. So these, I grew a bunch of these plants last year in my Hugel Culture or Hugel Mounds, um, Hugel Towers as I called them, but the slugs got to them and ate all my bean plants. So that was gone. I also have other cool, if I can find it, other cool green beans, green dry beans. But I'm, these are jade beans, but I'm not going to gr bother growing these because I still have quite a, seed, quite a few seeds left and they're only a year old, so I think they'll, they'll survive. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll grow them in the next round of sprouting, but I definitely need more seeds for this, so I'll definitely grow them. The same thing with the, the black garbanzo, the Kapuli black garbanzo. Uh, this, I guess they have the seeds back on the site, but when I first bought these, the seeds disappeared from the site and luckily I grew some one year and have some collected. But again, I grew some of these last year and they were eaten by slugs. So yeah, I definitely wanna get more seeds. I have a good amount of seeds, but these are really old and these are even kind of old, so I don't know. And of course, good old black dried turtle beans, cause you can't go wrong. Love to eat them, make a big part of my diet these days. So I'm gonna grow all this stuff. Go back to the chart. Again, this is the first round to just try things out, things I want to get started. I may try starting some corn, but I don't know if I'll really have the, the time or the season for corn. And I'd really like to get corn. Based, so here's the other thing. I'm growing in all containers here, at least for the foreseeable future, possibly forever. And I can't say that a lot of the seeds that I have in my cool, if I can get it in camera, <laughs> in my cool uh, seed, my library catalog, card catalog, I don't have a lot of container-friendly varieties. So I'm just gonna start out kind of fiddling around and trying things that I know will grow pretty good in containers. But things like I need to get corn. I do have some squash varieties that are bush, but I'm really going for all things that are compact or explicitly bush varieties. And I don't have any container corn, unfortunately. Those are pretty hard to come by, but some do exist. So I wanna look for some. Maybe I'll grow some for, some for fun, but I don't know if I'll have the time to really get going on that. But anyway, that is it. I'm going to fill up the rest of this tray and plug it into the machine and I'll get right back to you. And there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm realizing in my last video I was railing about how I had to cut a hole to make this into a humidity tray. I don't know if it's technically supposed to be. I'm realizing it's probably just meant to put that tray into. You might have seen when I was uh, putting the pods, the, the little sponges in, I was resting it in top on top of this. So maybe that's all this is supposed to do, but hey, it works as a humidity guard too, or humidity trap cover. <laughs> um, so I have all the sponges in, all the different varieties, many varieties of plants, mostly beans, and uh, I've got everything turned on. Now it's probably important to note too, um, I noticed that some people, I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed, I should have been using my cool new chest harness. But I want to lift this up for a second because I noticed that a lot of people who use this to complain that that the pump inside shoots too much water up. You can see, see that little white disc. There's a nozzle that fits on that that shoots the water up. And it, with the regular aero garden, it's used to direct the water into basically the, the tray to um, water all the individual pods. But with the seed, it even says in the instructions to take that off in some models. Now, I don't know if I have the right model because it's, I complained about in my last video. These Aero Gardens have like models and sub models and sub sub models. So I have no idea if I was supposed to remove it. But I want to give it a try because I know a lot of people complain that when you leave the little nozzle on, I don't have that nozzle handy to show you, the little spout, it actually sprays up and soaks, keeps these three at least soaked. And it serves no real purpose here because the nozzle that comes up doesn't attach. It doesn't integrate into the, the seed starting tray. So I, it just makes sense to remove it. And then you don't have water constantly spraying up on th these three sponges because it's kind of pointless. So I, so some people are saying just don't put sponges in here, put tape on it. I just forewent all that and removed the nozzle. So it's not actually sprouting water. The pump's still going, I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I should probably be testing that. I don't hear anything. But um, it's a... Uh, if the pump's still going, then it'll, it'll still keep the mover, the water moving around, but it won't actually be spraying it up into the tray. That's my hope. But in any case, that's all it is for this video. So hopefully you enjoyed my first baby steps into air garden use. I'll definitely be providing, providing updates. So if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. And uh, for all those watching, thank you so much. And thank you for joining me on this journey.